Until now, health officials had found the most seriously ill adults had some other medical condition. But today, the CDC reports of the patients requiring hospitalization, nearly half had previously been in good health. I think a key point is that this virus can be serious, even in healthy people with no underlying conditions. The CDC studied 1,400 adults hospitalized at 10 locations. Of those with other health problems, officials found 26 percent had asthma, 10 percent diabetes, 8 percent chronic lung disease, nearly 8 percent compromised immune systems, and 6 percent were pregnant women, which is worrisome because they make up only 1 percent of the population. And if you're pregnant, it's a really good time to find out about the vaccine and get your questions answered. So health officials say if you've been on the fence about having yourself or your children vaccinated, these findings show H1N1 can be a very serious disease, even in people who've previously been healthy. And John, we're about a week into uh, the first vaccinations that have been given. Have there been any problems reported so far? Fortunately, no. I spoke to the CDC this afternoon. They say so far so good. But is there a system in place that will actually monitor complications and side effects if in fact they happen? Yes, Katie. Every doctor is required to keep track of every person they give the H1N1 vaccine to. And then if there are side effects, they have to then report it up to their local Department of Health. The Department of Health then reports it to the CDC. So there is a very comprehensive system in place. And I'm sure you'll be monitoring that for us. Dr. John LaPook, John, thanks so much.